All right, so good evening. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your evening here with me. As I mentioned, my name is Elizabeth Dines, and I am studying cybersecurity and information assurance through the College of Engineering. And in addition to that, today's been a special day for me already because it was my first day in a new role. So I recently joined the Global Threat Response Team as an Operations Analyst at Kellogg's. Prior to that, I worked in application security also at Kellogg's. So like some of my fellow students have already done with you today, I'd like to just take a few minutes and share what my experience at U of M Dearborn and joining the Talent Gateway program has been all about. So for me, it has been sort of this journey of discovering that living in confidence and removing that sort of imposter syndrome or striking it out um, that I'm sure we've all faced at some point. So this photo on the right is several years ago. It's a picture of me swinging a softball bat, missing the ball, and probably even striking out. And why is this significant? Because like many of us in the room, I've always had very high expectations of myself. So as this teenager back in this photo, my goal was to be the MVP of that team. Well, I didn't make it. And so failing in that experience led me to have this lack of confidence and feel like I didn't belong on that team. And if I take this to a more current example, three years ago I finished my undergraduate degree in finance and I wound up working in IT. And I was sitting in the room with my peers going, I don't have the same technical, technical skills that they do. What am I doing here? Can I even do this? I don't know. And so that experience has led me to these three steps that I've identified for myself as participating in the Talent Gateway program. So let's go to those. So going through that experience and having that repeated, in my opinion, failure of not being a part of, you know, being that MVP of that team or coming in and being a star player on the team to move this IT project forward when I have knowledge in finance, were some struggles along the way. So that kind of left you, or it left me, and maybe it, you, some of you have felt this too, of I wish I had that natural ability that Serena Williams has. Granted, she works extremely hard, right? Or maybe I wish I could just create this stunning masterpiece that Van Gogh does and he seems to do it, or did, and did it effortlessly, right? I wish I had that. I wanted that experience. Whether I was working hard at it or not, I still wanted to achieve that highest level. So by having those experiences and feeling that way, it also led me to these thoughts. I didn't have the confidence in myself, and I didn't feel like I belonged in that room. And at some points, as we probably all have felt, I kind of thought, well, this isn't successful. Maybe we need to start over. Maybe we need to do something else. So that experience and that you know, going through that, feeling those thoughts, led me to the Talent Gateway program when I enrolled in my classes here at UMD. And as some of you may already know, the experience of participating in the program focuses on these competencies, which they try to instill in all of the Talent Gateway participants. I chose to focus on technology because it made sense with what I was studying. I also honed in on leadership, teamwork, communication, critical thinking, but I did work on all of them as well. So by pr the process of participating in the Talent Gateway program, specifically for me, centered around three steps. So those three steps for me were, one, complete the challenge. So as Lori mentioned in our intro, you are asked as a student to go out and set a goal around a particular competency. So technology, for example. One of the tasks that I had to do was conduct an informational interview with someone in the field who was doing what I wanted to do. So I did that. I completed that challenge. And then I had to reflect on it in a formalized way. So I'm writing a little paper about what the experience was like. So I learned about what this person was doing in their career and what um, doing in their day to day that was making them successful in that role. And then think about, is that what I'm doing? What do I need to add? What do I need to change? How do I go back, move forward? What does that process look like? And in doing that, I was then able to incorporate those new skills and get to that new position. As, the new role that I started today. So this is very formalized to the Talent Gateway program. And coming to the end of my journey here at U of M Dearborn, I want to continue to incorporate that because it has helped me with the confidence, with the imposter syndrome, with the motivation. So let's deformalize this into a process that can work for anyone. Everyone can set a goal. Everyone can work to achieve that goal and reflect along the way. 
stop and think about what you were doing. Is it been successful? If it has not been successful, how do we pivot to make it successful and get to that goal? And I think some of my teammates up here, some of my um, fellow classmates up here have already said on it, it might not be the first try, it might be the 15th try. So, and that's the part about the reflecting. And then reach those goals, hopefully, and add those new skills into your repertoire and move forward. So if I think about doing this process and how it relates to my softball example, well, I already told you I didn't make it. I was not the MVP ever. But in working that goal to try to get there, I was the first person into practice. I was the last person to leave. I was suggesting to my teammates that we need to come in on Saturdays and we need to do these things to get us to where we want to go. And in doing that, I became a leader on the team. And I was boosting our morale and pushing our motivation for the team to go forward. And that led to almost always being voted a team captain. So yes, I reflected on that retroactively years later and thought, I did have a role on that team. I was supposed to be there. But I was not supposed to be the person with the highest RBI. I was just supposed to be a leader on that team to help my team go further forward together. So if I take that to my more current example, when I started working in IT, having a financial acumen, but maybe lacking some technical skills, how could I contribute? Well, I'm looking back on it, reflecting, going, well, I had that financial knowledge, and I could communicate with the business, and I could relay that to our developers, and I could get them to understand, and then we can all move forward and get this project up and running and have it successful go live for that particular project. So in thinking about those two examples and reflecting on the many challenges I did with the Talent Gateway program, I think our class, the 14 of us here today, averaged about 75 um, challenges per student. So that's a lot of challenges. So nice job, everybody. Um, so in, in, in doing that, though, the reflection has led, and participating in that reflection has led me to um, the following takeaways. So continue to set goals. I think we probably all knew that. Um, and work hard to achieve them, of course. Um, but then whether you succeed or you experience failure, to take the time to reflect on those, whether it be formally or informally, whatever works for you. Just take the time to think about, hey, this isn't working, and that's OK. But I'm going to take a step back, and I'm going to figure out what I need to do to then make this successful. And then I'm going to move forward. And then, of course, incorporate all of those things that you've learned to move forward. Um, so that wraps up what I have to share. I think my biggest takeaway here would obviously just be the reflection. And um, hopefully this inspires somebody out here to reflect on where they are with their progress of a goal that they're working toward. And that is all. So thank you.